Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse 220 Health Assessment and Physical Exam. Your course professor here, Frank Schaller. Nice to see you all again. This week, we're going to have some fun. All right, so what I want you guys to do is find a household member to volunteer to be your patient. I have my patient right here. I'm not sure what their name is. You guys will have to help me figure out a name as the semester commences. But anyways, you'll have the opportunity to record a small portion of your physical assessment recorded and sent to me for review. And then there will be other required recorded videos in the future for this course, given the pandemic. Real quick, guys, be sure to submit the consent form in your syllabus, page 16, with your post. And be sure to submit this anytime you send in a recording for this course. So time to get some of those first time jitters out, guys. What I would like you guys to do is practice your auscultation with your stethoscope, of course. So you'll have an opportunity to auscultate the heart and the lungs. So when you're auscultating the heart, you want to make sure you auscultate all points with the bell and the diaphragm. So real quickly, I'm going to do a brief demonstration of what this might look like on your patient. All right. Aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Those are the anterior heart sounds of the patient. And when you're listening, see if you notice there's S1, there's S2. If you happen to pick up any type of murmur, that's extra bonus points as well. That's great if you can pick that up. But don't worry, this is all the very beginning of health assessment and physical exam. No need to worry if you don't pick up things like that. Anyways, you want to also listen to the lung sounds as well. And you're going to want to do that both anteriorly and posteriorly on your patient. So real quick demonstration of that as well. Listening to the anterior lung sounds. You're going to ask your patient to take in a big breath and blow it out with every time you auscultate. Going back and forth coming down the lung fields. And you're also going to want to do that posteriorly on your patient as well. So real quick, posterior chest on your patient, going back and forth in a systematic manner. If you refer to page 19, or slide 19 in your PowerPoint, you'll be able to familiarize yourself better with the anatomic landmarks and other anatomy. Make sure to hit all of those points. Anyways, guys, practice, have fun. I cannot wait to view your progress and provide feedback as needed. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.